and gentlemen, welcome to Divers Ready. My name's James. It's time for another channel update, only the second update we've done in the year 2022. I'm trying to space these out a bit more because it's a bit much doing one a month, but we will have enough time to give you a little bit of the behind the scenes at Divers Ready and answer some of your dive instructor Q&A questions that you've posted using the hashtag AskDiversReady. I'm pretty sure everyone watching this video is already a subscriber, but if you're not a subscriber, feel free to make your next dive on that big red button down there and give this video a thumbs up if I answered your question. I'd really appreciate it. What's been going on at Divers Ready? Well, we've had a really jam-packed summer because I had that DCS incident in March. All of my students for spring basically got moved to the summer and filled in all the gaps I had left myself to make content. So it was a really, really busy summer, back to back, teaching, teaching, teaching. And to be honest, the weather was not cooperative. It was probably the worst summer I've had in South Florida in terms of dive conditions. The boats were running, but it was pretty gnarly out there most days. It was pretty unpleasant. So that was my summer. We're through it now. We're about halfway through hurricane season cruising towards winter and uh yeah it's 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 been tough it's been a tough year so far it's starting to show can I, do i look tired i look tired don't i uh we've got a few modifications to the dive locker i want to share with you i used to have all of my spare hoses for scuba just shoved in a drawer all on top of each other like a bag of snakes it was a real nightmare to find the exact hose that i wanted uh so i crafted this weird looking unit out of uh some pvc pipes glued them together, cut some holes in it, and now I can find exactly the right length hose I need and the right kind of hose at my fingertips. I also added this awesome uh, vinyl LP, which I framed of the Thunderball soundtrack, which my wife Karina found in a thrift, thrift store in Denver, Colorado, when we were there in August doing some non-diving recreation, some hiking and that sort of thing. So that's super cool. Really happy to have that in the dive locker. And my fin wall fell down. If you remember, I had some uh, some hooks that all of my fins were laid out on. And one day I was in here editing and there was a huge crash at the other end of the dive locker and all of my fins were on the floor. So I've kind of come up with a new uh, system where each pair of fins is going to be placing its load on an individual hook instead of all pressing on the same bar. Uh, hopefully that solves the issue there. As you're watching this, guys, I am actually in Bonaire attending Bonaire Tech Week. Uh, it's a week-long tech diving conference where we do a bunch of dives and have seminars in the evening and there's equipment manufacturers and it's just a good time if you're a technical diver. If you're there, we're already hanging out, probably having beers. So there you have it. I'm going to be taking this bad boy with me to Bonaire. It is the new GoPro Hero 11. Uh, so I'm going to be getting some test footage out of that and we will uh, we'll see what it looks like. I'm, I'm pretty hopeful it's going to be a big improvement on the 10, which was already pretty awesome. Uh, let's talk about Dima. Dima is coming up. I doubt I'll have another channel update before Dima hits the first week in November. I am going to be a guest panelist uh, on a panel hosted by my good friend Tech Clark uh, on the subject of the power of podcasting. I don't really podcast. I YouTube, which is audio plus video, but he invited me and I'm always happy to hang out with tech and uh, and talk scuba. So that is going to be, if you're attending Dima, it's going to be on the Thursday, which is November the 3rd, uh, starting at 1 p.m. in room S210DE. 210DE. Yes. Uh, I don't even know what that means now, but I'm sure it makes sense in the time. Um, I'm not a massive fan of Dima. I don't like going to Dima, but it is a good chance to catch up with friends, the social aspect of it. And like I said, to be on this panel would be awesome. And to update a few certifications, some equipment servicing classes I'm going to take and so on and so forth. So that's awesome. Uh, also, Karina is going to be going to Dima and she's going to hopefully be setting up the Divers Ready trips because it's a good place to meet vendors for different locations for 2024 and beyond. So hopefully after Dima, we'll have some new trips to announce for the coming future. Speaking of trips, we have about four places left on the sardine run for July 2023, and we have about six spaces left on our Philippines adventure, which is going to be in October, November 2023, that we're co hosting with our good friend Matthias Labo of the Matthias Labo channel. Uh, and also, Matthias has sooner than that an upcoming video workshop. One of his very successful video workshops uh, is happening in Egypt. 
I don't want to get the dates wrong here and I don't have them written down in front of me, but I will link to the uh, brochure for that trip in the description of this video below. In fact, all those trips will be linked in the description of the video below. So if you're one of those people who's like, oh, I'm going to wait and see and book and book and book, now is the time to book because I have four, six, and I think Matthias has four left on his trip. So it's getting down to uh, almost full time. I think that's all the updates, so let's dig into your questions. Again, post them in any comments on the videos, just use the hashtag AskDiversReady so I can find them. Uh, Tasman Young asks, is there a way that anyone could look up someone's credentials, such as seeing if someone is actually an instructor? That is a fantastic question. You asked that about my Seven Deadly Sins video uh, regarding, you know, bad and therefore good scuba diving instructor habits. Um, yes, Tasman, there is. If you go to the agency that that person says they teach for, you can see if they're in active teaching status, uh, doing what's called a pro check. So Paddy has one, SDI have one. I presume the other agencies have them, but I haven't looked. Uh, but you can go to the website and actually look up an instructor. And if you know, you're in the directory, then you're active and they're good to go. Um, Jessica Yaden asks, what general advice do you have on choosing a wetsuit? Um, general advice, I mean, obviously fit is everything. So even if you're buying online, make sure you've got a return policy so that if you try it on and it's not perfect, you can send it back and get a different size. Fit is everything. A badly fitting wetsuit is as good as no wetsuit at all because it won't have the heat retaining properties you're looking for. Generally, when I'm buying a wetsuit, Neoprene is a very tricky material to work with from a construction point of view because it's flexible but it also has to be strong and it's got to be sewn in different patches and so on. So I generally prefer the companies that specialize in making wetsuits. So companies like Bear, who you know I'm a big fan of, Henderson, Pinnacle, these kind of people that are actually experts in that particular field. If you look at companies who make all the different dive gear, they make regulators and masks and BCDs, and by the way, we also make wetsuits, those wetsuits tend to be garbage. Um, so I try to avoid those branded wetsuits and go for actually people who have expertise in the, in the area of neoprene design and construction. Hope that answers your question there. Uh, Jade Headland asks, hashtag Ask Divers Ready, what other outfits and agencies would you recommend that a working parent go through other than Rainbow Reef, which offers a short course? For both Dive Master and IDC, uh, something that would be 10 days or close to. Those of us raising kids, taking nine weeks off is impractical. At the same rate, I 100% agree with where you are coming from and wish there was a better option, even if it took a bit longer. It, it's that's a really tough question to answer because to do a thorough proper training takes time if you don't have time due to your other commitments maybe this isn't for you it's not something you can you know i kind of make this point many times on the channel this isn't something you can do halfway and expect good results uh, my dive master course was about eight weeks and my instructor course was about five um and still at the end of that i felt like i didn't know you know much of anything uh and it was only when i got out in the field so anything shorter than that i i couldn't recommend at all um so yeah it's not something you want to rush and, and maybe the answer there is it's it's just not possible for you this time with everything else you've got going on but definitely not something you want to to rush or or halfway do um for sure sorry if that answer is disappointing but that's the honest truth carlos farrier asks uh, could you make a video of the new Apple Pro Watch with Oceanic app in a real work scuba dive? Uh, potentially. The answer there is possibly. As with everyone who wants me to review this or that or the other, it's about getting my hands on the product. So Karina has reached out to Apple and Crickets, which is what you'd expect because they don't need people like me to review their dive computer or a dive app, so to speak. Um, lots of people are interested in this. They're asking questions. Um, if you want to know my initial thoughts, having not seen it or dove it at all, I'll say that straight off the bat, um, then you'll just have to follow our Facebook page because I've already posted them on there the day that the announcement was made. So if you're not following us on Facebook, Dive is ready, go check it out and uh, you can see my thoughts there. Uh, Try Quetral Band. Triquetral band? I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. James, love the content. Controversial. How do you know you are a good instructor teacher? 
Your video is very confrontational, but offers little constructive information about what it means to be a good teacher. And I believe this comment was placed on our Seven Deadly Sins video again. Um, it's a great question, and I'm happy to be able to answer it. How do I know, how do I have confidence that I am good at my job? It's very, very simple. I look at the students that I turn out. It doesn't matter what happens inside the class, it doesn't matter what happens between me and my students. What happens is, after a course is finished, what do those students go on and do? Are they safe divers? Are they reliable divers? Are they polite, well-mannered divers? Are they competent? Are they confident? Are they good at navigation? Are they good at the fundamentals, buoyancy, trim, breathing, propulsion? Have I made you a good diver? That is the only way I judge my performance as a dive instructor. No matter what level we're talking about here, if we're talking open water, advanced trimix, whatever it may be, I'm looking to turn out students that are confident and capable at that level. That's also true for the dive community in general. Your reputation lives on your name printed on their certification cards. And if you see a diver who's an absolute soup sandwich, just a hot mess, and then you look at their C card and you see the instructor's name, that's not good. So I don't ever want to be in that situation. So I make sure that every student I turn out is of that standard or you don't get the card. It's that simple. Uh, Jerry asks, do you plan on doing a video on the X-T4 regulator? Yes, I do. Uh, I think I mentioned already that I've recently switched over all of my tech rental gear from Apex to DiveRite. Uh, and the new regulators came with the shiny X-T4 second stages. Uh, so that's on my personal dive gear right now. Really enjoying them. And yes, I will do a dedicated video in the near future. Jeff Conley asks, how do you like the scuba pro go fins you are using in this video? I think that was the uh, Cayman Islands Perdix 2 review video uh, I was using those fins in. Um, I like them just fine. They're great. They're monoprene. Uh, they're open heel fins that you don't need boots for. So if you're not looking to protect your feet from either abrasion or warmth, you can actually wear open heel these open heel fins without any boots or socks or anything. And they are totally comfortable. They're super lightweight and yet still quite stiff. Um, and they're my preferred sort of go-to travel fin if I'm not shore diving, and we were boat diving in Grand Cayman, um, for, for their ease of packing. They're, they're nice and short. They fit in the bag. They're nice and light. So yeah, I, I thoroughly enjoy, uh, enjoy using them. Uh, Anzeticus, 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 asks, James, any feedback regarding the longevity of the glued on pockets? Yes, I do have feedback for you. They're brilliant. Uh, no fraying, no trouble at all. They're mounted in exactly the right position. Um, and yeah, from a wear and tear point of view, the pockets are gonna last longer than the suit, for sure. I go through one or two wetsuits a year because I do that many dives and I'm very hard on my suits and we do advanced rec courses and so on. So when my current suits, which I glue those pockets on at the start of the summer, start to die and look a bit raggedy, I will be cutting the pockets off of those suits and gluing the same pockets onto my next suit. So uh, yeah, really loving that. I did, I have a confession though, I did actually break down and buy another pair of tech shorts. Not because the pockets aren't fantastic, they are, but as I said, I'm going to Bonaire and I don't want to take a wetsuit. I don't need a wetsuit, but because we're tech diving, I do still want the convenience of pockets. So I did break down. I could have bought a shorty and put pockets on the shorty, but I was like, I'll, I'll just get a pair, but I'm not gonna put that many dimes on them. They're gonna be held in reserve. And um, yeah, they're just gonna be worn literally as dive shorts with nice cargo pockets. So full, full transparency there, I did actually break down, but. There we are. I think that concludes the uh, Dime Instructor Q&A. Apologies if I didn't get to your video in time. And uh, yeah, wherever you're diving this coming week, I hope you do it safely. Dive safe, dive often. <laughs> <laughs>